Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Roadcaster Duo. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the Roadcaster Duo along with a few different tricks to basically turn this into a more powerful device, creating a virtual audio channels that you can then use while streaming. Now, as a standalone device, it's a really awesome little mixer with smart pads, multiple hardware sliders, and other good things, but it does down mix everything into a single output, which you'd use as streaming. But if you want to break out and have multiple audio tracks in OBS and Streamlabs, for example, where you're separating out your mic audio, your game audio, your chat audio, and other things into multiple audio tracks, then I'm going to show you some tricks to do that and some workarounds, because it doesn't work out of the box like that, sadly. But if you want to end up with the ability to drag clips into DaVinci Resolve, for example, and have multiple audio tracks that you can then edit, so you can use your clips and get just the gameplay sounds or just the sound of your microphone or drop out some particular audio, then stick with me because I'm going to show you how. But before we get to those couple of tips on how to do that, I want to show you how to set up the Rodecaster Duo in Windows and in OBS to get the basic settings right, and then I'll show you the tweaks that you can do to get more out of it from virtual audio sources and this will be really useful if you're a content creator. Now for a standard setup in OBS or Streamlabs, I'm going to use Streamlabs as a quick example. So you go into the settings cog, we go into audio, and then you basically just need to pick one device, which would be your microphone, Rodecaster, Duo, main stereo. Now, as I've said, this will then put all your audio in, and you can see it immediately. So you'll have your USB audio from USB 1 in there, your microphone audio, your chat audio, your sample pads, any other things that you put in. So if you connected Bluetooth, for example, you get the sound in there and it's all mixed into one audio source. And then obviously you can then just adjust that and stream and get on with making videos. But you can also do other things which are a little bit more complicated if you want to separate out different audio sources. Unfortunately, the Rodecaster Duo doesn't allow you to do this normally because you've just got that one standard single audio source. But if you want separate audio for game, chat, and other things in OBS, then I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, as standard, you can see, obviously, the mic audio is going through here. And if we go into the audio settings on OBS, obviously, I've got the microphone set up as microphone duo main stereo. As I showed you, this is what you do. You either put that on mic or one of the other settings on their mic there, and then that will pull everything through. Unfortunately, this is just all of it together, lumped together, which means you can't record separately the different things. Now, I find that often my video clips are ruined by my friends talking over them or something like that. So if you want separate audio for your game, then I'm going to show you one way to do it. And you can do it with that secondary USB connection. There's two ports for USB connections, and you can use these obviously as separate PCs, but you can also plug them into the same PC. Use two USB-C cables, preferably plug them into USB-C ports on your motherboard. If you can't manage that, you can use one USB-C to USB-A connection. Just make sure you use the blue or red USB a ports on your motherboard. You'll then see USB 2 appear as a virtual sound source in your Windows sound settings, and we can use that to our advantage. So if we select the second mic, for example, as desktop microphone at Rodecaster Duo Secondary, and then we can set that up so that it's not pulling anything else through. So on the Rodecaster Duo, you want to hit the settings cog in the top right corner, then go to outputs, and then routing, and then tap on USB 2. Under that, we're looking for the custom setting. So mix minus or custom, but custom is the one you want. And then untick everything apart from USB 2. So basically, we're making it so there's a red X below everything, including your microphone, sample pads, and USB chat. We only want USB 2 as that source that we're then going to use. Now, what we then need to do is go into the sound setting. So open up your Windows sound settings again, obviously making sure you've still got your speakers and microphones set up correctly. And then if you scroll down in Windows 11 and go into the volume mixer, you can then find the relevant game that you want, find your output device and set it to headphones, Rodecaster Duo Secondary. This then puts the game audio out through a headphones setting in here, not through your headphones, but through that virtual thing that we've created with a secondary USB connection. You can then see that we've got two audio sources in the mixer. One is the microphone and the other one is just the game audio. So now the 
main mix has everything and then you've got a separate audio track with just the game sound being recorded now this is useful if you want to make tips and tricks videos on youtube for example and you want a clean audio which is just game audio and nothing else so now we have two audio set up in there the other thing we can do is we can also add a third one which is the chat this then basically separates out the audio for your friends talking so then you have a separate audio source which again is virtual and includes your friends chat now obviously that will be in the main mix as well but this is a separate track with just them chatting which you could then use in combination with the game audio if you wanted for some funny clips too so there are various ways to do it if you go into the output settings and then for recording tick more than one audio track so you can see i've selected four then go over to the audio mixer right click and click on advanced audio properties you'll see that everything we've just set up so both microphone settings and the desktop audio are all ticked to go into every track untick all of those basically we're going to remove all of them and then we're just going to have track one is the main mix so the main mic audio which is everything will be track one because if you're streaming that's where you want that to go then for track two we're going to have the chat mic mix setup that we've got and then for track three it's just the audio of the game then when you drag that into your editing software you should find two three or however many you've set up tracks one with everything and one with a game audio, for example, making for a much cleaner way of editing your voiceovers and your videos. Now, this is obviously a little bit fiddly and not ideal. It's not a perfect solution, but unfortunately, Rode doesn't put out multiple virtual audio tracks yet on the Rodecaster Duo at the time of recording this video. Hopefully, that will change in future. An alternative to all that is to instead use SteelSeries GG. Rode probably won't like this, but SteelSeries GG is a free bit of software that you can download and use with any device. And it has uh, some powerful tools in enabling virtual channels. So there's a program within SteelSeries GG called Sonar, which you need an account for, sadly. So you have to connect an account and log into that. But then you can go through the setup process that you will see here. And what we're doing is essentially where instead of using the Rode hardware in Windows, as I've showed you setting it up like that, instead we're going to create some virtual SteelSeries sonar channels, and we're going to put our Rodecaster Duo through there instead. So the game output will be your speaker's output on the Rodecaster. Your chat output will be the chat output on your Rodecaster. And then what we're doing is essentially we're creating a similar sort of setup, but we're going to have more virtual channels using SteelSeries GG than we do with Rodecaster. This also means that you don't have to use two USB connections. You can stick to just one. You then select your microphone, which is obviously the desktop microphone, the main microphone setup, and then you pass that through into here. You might have to do some mix minus settings on the Rodecaster, but what this will then give you is game, chat, media, auxiliary, and more powerful virtual settings in there. Now, Sonar is powerful because you can also get custom game presets for various different sound presets for your chat so for your audio for your discord settings and you can adjust your microphone now i would recommend turning this to default and then also turning the equalizer off because obviously you've got processing on the roadcaster duo you don't want extra applied virtually as well so that would be uh, no go there and then what you need to do is essentially just go into windows sound settings we're going to tweak some things in here instead of using the Rodecaster, we're going to use Still Series Sonar Gaming as your main audio, and then Still Series Sonar Microphone as your microphone audio. Now, the same sort of logic applies because basically what we're doing is we're going to mix all those virtual sources into a single one. So we go into Streamlabs or OBS, pick your mic audio, and select Still Series Sonar Microphone. Now, that will be everything in one mix. You can also go in and then select Still Series Sonar Gaming as your main desktop audio and that will be our game audio and i'll show you that in a minute and then there's another one we want the chat so what we're doing here is we're separating out game audio chat audio and then the overall mix into a separate one you could also use still series sonar media if you wanted an even more separate track for your music playback for example and then we basically have to repeat the same steps that i showed you earlier in obs or in streamlabs obs you need to basically go into the output settings so under the advanced settings, we need to find the audio for recording and select multiple tracks. So we're going to select four tracks there. We're going to click on the cog here, and then we're going to set it up 
so that we have those multiple tracks. So untick everything to start with. And then obviously we want to use Steel Series Sonar Microphone, which is everything into one as your main source. So that's track one for streaming and for recording purposes. And then Steel Series Gaming is track two. Steel Series Sonar Chat is track three. And that then basically gives you multiple virtual tracks that you can then use for recording purposes and for streaming. So if we have music playing, you can drag it out of game and put it into the media playback section to make sure that doesn't appear under your microphone because obviously you don't want that. But you could have a dedicated section for that as a separate audio track if you wanted to. But for recording purposes, what we want to do is end up with multiple tracks here. So you can see I've got the microphone and the game separated out in two separate tracks. Make sure your game is in the game section in Sonar, which it should be because it's pretty intelligent about doing that. And then you should see that you have those audio tracks there. We've got the chat one, but obviously I've got no one on Discord talking to me at the minute, so that's not showing anything up. But then what you'll have when you record is you'll then have multiple audio tracks. So this means that then we then drag over our file. So you can see here's the gameplay clip. You'll then see that we have multiple different tracks in there that we can edit. Now, obviously I've only got two currently, but you will have, you can see that one is the mic audio and then the other one is the game audio. So if you wanted to create a tips and tricks video, you could just drop out that main one, which is obviously everything mixed together. And then you can just have the audio of the game on its own. And this will work for the other things that you've applied in there. So if you had your Discord chat and media playback as well, you've got multiple different tracks that you can easily tweak around with and play around with and to create a nice recording. So you've then got a perfect single audio mix for your stream, which you can control at hardware or software level. And then also you've got separate tracks for your clips. So fantastic to up there. Hopefully this has been a helpful video. I realize it's been really long, so I appreciate it if you've watched all the way to the end. Hopefully I've given you some great insights into this device, which is pretty powerful and a nice downsized scale version of the Rodecaster Pro 2. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe for more. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.